fellow Toastmasters, most welcome guests. When we were coming to our meeting tonight, we probably came in through that front door. But what I'd like to know is, if when you were coming in and there was somebody in front of you, were you walking directly behind them, or did you pick your own path? Were you following? During the summer months, my wife and I got into a habit of always going out for supper on the Friday evening, straight from work. Especially if it's a nice, sunny, warm day, we pick one of our two or three best restaurants that have the nicest patios, and we sit outside. Of course, the menu comes, and the menu is full of food. Superfluous choices. We don't know where to start. Funny thing, though, this will also happen when we're on a holiday somewhere, in another city, eating at a brand new restaurant. A lot of choices. Finally, the momentous moment comes. The waitress comes and asks us, what will you have? And finally, narrowing it down, I pick this one item. And lo and behold, nine times out of ten, the waiter or waitress will say, that's my favorite. Go figure. What are the odds, right? What are the odds? Now, many of you in this room have been around for a while, and I mean on a good sense. You have a good amount of experience behind you. You have probably witnessed many times people following, people joining in opinion. You've probably seen it at work, you can see it in charities, you can see it on the news, you can see it in politics. And it got me to thinking and asking questions, why is that? Why are there so many people that just follow the common theme of the day? And I started to think and I, I thought, well, perhaps because one reason is uh, people don't like to be hostile, they don't like to be seen as uh, animostic. They don't want to be seen as counter. Perhaps it's because we as people, as human beings, we have a need to belong socially to a group. We have a need to join the bigger group, to be part of a group. And sometimes our opinions are favored that way. Sometimes it might be because, well, if we're new to a job, new to a club, new to a city, the fastest way to make friends is to just agree with them, despite what they say. That's true. Sometimes it's because we have an ulterior motive. We want to win favor. We want to have a favor in the back of our, in the back of our pocket. And one way by earning it is by agreeing with somebody and supporting them. And that's fine too. You know, it's, it's almost like water, a drop of water. If you've ever seen a drop of water on a nicely polished car surface, it will always gravitate to the larger mass and join and be a nice, large group. Now, I'm not proposing that we become, we become counter-revolutionaries, to have our own opinion just to stand out. One of the things that I hope that us being Toastmasters and gaining confidence in our speaking, that we also gain confidence to be able to support our own opinions and not necessarily agree with everyone else's opinion, whatever the flavor of the day is. That we have the courage to at least voice our opinion. We, we live in one of the most free speech countries in the world, and we should be able to voice our opinion and not be afraid if it goes counter to the popular group. It's just our need, our need to develop and have an opinion, our own idea. I leave you with a scene that's typical around Calgary in the summer months. Saturday morning, Lower Springbank area, my cycling club. We're cycling out there about 10, 11 in the morning. And if you're in a car on the side of the road, waiting to get on, you will wait until this group of 20 to 30 cyclists come past. They're in a tight, tight formation. 
Now, of course, many of those want to be in that group to be part of a group. They are so close, they can touch each other's like this. There's only maybe a foot between them. As they're gone, you will always see one or two cyclists about 50 to 100 feet behind. One of them might be me. <laughs> and I'm there, not because I don't want to be part of the bigger group. I'm there because I just can't keep up. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Tosin.